Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I've got another Utah feature that has to do with knowledge management. That's right. Our old friend knowledge management got an update in Utah and that update in this release is human readable URLs for a knowledge page. So if you've ever seen a knowledge page link, it's usually got a sys ID or a knowledge number, a knowledge article number. So KB you know, 000072 or something like that, but it's not really user friendly. A person looking at it doesn't actually know what that knowledge article is. And so they've given us some capabilities to make that better. I'm gonna hop over to the service portal. I have not got this to work in employee center yet. I don't know if that's me or a feature, um, but it does work in service portal. I'm gonna go to the knowledge base, and let's take a look at this first knowledge article here. So I've got it turned on and you can see, I'm just gonna pull down my browser so you can see the URL here and we'll walk through this of what this looks like. Um, but basically what would used to be the URL was this part right here. So you can see KB article and a sys ID and then a bunch of letters and numbers, which is the sys ID. And what's new in Utah is this human readable part here. Um, there's actually a couple of new things going on. One, it's saying we're looking at the English version, and then we can see that it's taken the short description for the knowledge article, removed the spaces, replaced them with dashes, lowercased everything, and it pulls out any special characters so they don't show up there as well. So what are phishing scams and how can I avoid them? Now, when someone goes and copies the permalink, which you can see down here, they're gonna see that particular URL. So I'm just gonna delete what's in there. I'm gonna copy what I just got from the permalink and you can see I've got that what are phishing scans and how can I avoid them. So everything worked as, as, as it should. And I think that's a pretty cool feature in itself, but actually it's a very configurable feature when you get down to it. So let's take a look at that. The way you turn this on besides a system property that turns it on globally in your instance, um, you wanna head over to the portal pages. So I'm just gonna search for portal and we're gonna hop down to pages and I'm gonna search for KB underscore article and that will bring me to those two pages. Now, I put this on both of them, but the instructions in the documentation, which I'll find here, actually says to use this KB article, KB underscore article underscore view. And what you're gonna do is there's a new field, I'll show it to you as soon as it pops up here, where you're gonna add a dynamic variable percent short underscore description, DSCR, to human readable URL structure. And that's pretty simple. If you follow the instructions, you put what's it, what they tell you into in there and it works. And uh, what I didn't know is actually, this actually says dynamic page title variables. Um, the actual name of this is dynamic page variables. In the documentation, there is no title as part of this. It's just dynamic page variables. And you can create your own. So while we're doing, or what I'm doing in this video is I'm showing you short description, you could do something else on the knowledge article. Maybe the long description, or the category, or the meta, or something else um, that you might want to be in the human readable part. And once you create these, it'll work. So let me go to the other KB underscore article where I configured this as well. I'll go ahead and edit this in the proper scope. So that you can see I have percent short description here, but it didn't exist as a dynamic page variable. I actually had to create it. So I went in and I said, hey, this is gonna be, and we'll walk through the form here. I'm gonna give it a name. So I copied what the instruction said and did that percent short underscore DESCR. So it was consistent with documentation. Um, but you're gonna say which page this belongs to. So this is gonna be, um, let me fix that there, the KB article page. Um, and I think that auto selected there. Um, the UR qu query parameter, uh, I had to type in, so sysparam underscore article, in the documentation they walk you through this. You tell it the table, which is gonna be knowledge, and then I was able to pick the relevant table column of number, and then I was able to specify the, the short description for the table field, okay? And then I was able to then filter on workflow as published. And this is what brings that short description into that human readable field that we specify on the knowledge article uh, or not, KB underscore article view or KB underscore article page using this new variable. So I show you all that to say 
the instructions say use this percent short underscore descr but if you've customized added your own field that has some pertinent information on a knowledge article you can also make that part of the human readable url that shows up when this feature is turned on so that is a new feature for knowledge management in utah i think it's a really helpful one obviously it leads to better accessibility human readability and um, i hope people turn this on and have something useful to look at when they're seeing a link in their comment, in, in their email, or in a Teams message, or in whatever messaging platform you can use, it's now human readable if you turn this on and configure it the way you want to. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody that you think might be interested in anything human readable in ServiceNow. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning. <laughs>